Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another edition of The Food Game. And I'm sure all of you guys have tried a BOT from Sonic before, but have you ever wondered what even more bacon would be like on a BOT from Sonic? And they did just that. The brand new released B BOT, which features even more bacon. I'm pretty sure this just came out today. So I'm quite excited to try this out myself. Got bacon falling all over the place already. As you can see, it is nighttime right now, and I'm using my GoPro to shoot this video. So I'm hoping the quality isn't going to be too, too bad. But guys, look no further. The B BLT from Sonic with the extra B. Um, you can see the presentation is quite disappointing. Um, I'm actually going to show you a picture of what uh, the advertisement shows right here. And you can just compare uh, the difference between the two. As a piece of bacon falls completely off the sandwich. On the inside, of course, you've got your typical uh, tomatoes, lettuce, right there, along with mayo and the bacon. The bacon game isn't looking too shabby, I guess. It's on the flimsy side. I'm actually going to try to flip this thing around to see exactly how much of that extra bacon we did get. So along with that extra piece on top, you can see we barely got any bacon actually. This is really disappointing. We got like small chunks of bacon. Uh, definitely not what the doctor ordered and definitely not what the advertisement shows, but we're going to give this a try anyway. The B. BOT from Sonic. Wish me luck. You say it's like a regular BOT to me. It is incredibly hard to distinguish this as something that has extra bacon on it because this thing doesn't have that much bacon in it at all. You do get a, a decent flavor from the bacon and it is on the crispy side which is nice. You can hear that crunch when I bite into it. I am liking the uh, Brioche style bun on the top. And you can taste a little bit of the, uh, the lettuce and the tomatoes as well. Gives it a little bit more moisture. Overall not terrible. Give you guys a close up look there. And it's really not that big of a sandwich either. So, just one good thing I like about the B BLT sandwich is that it also qualifies for the, uh, the $4 deal. So, you can get the B BLT along with an order of tots for just $4, which it's a pretty solid deal in my opinion. Yeah guys, there's really not too much to say about this.
tastes just like your typical BOT, in my opinion. Except I know that on uh, some BOTs, instead of like a, a bun, you'll get bread instead. So with everything being said and being under consideration, on my rating scale, guys, of 1 to 10 for Sonic's new B BOT sandwich, I'm going to have to give this a, uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, this definitely could have been a lot better. It didn't really meet uh, my expectations, especially with the bacon. Uh, if you're going to call this the uh, B BOT, uh, this thing ought to be stacked pile high with bacon, just like it is shown in the advertisement. But this overall was pretty lackluster, and given the price, it is, I guess, worth it, but it's not the best quality and the best experience you're gonna get. I've had much, much better items from Sonic. And it just seems like to me, most of Sonic's burgers are just about the same, taste-wise and experience-wise overall. Uh, there's one last look there at the ever so disappointing sandwich. See, the taste of the bacon was on point. It's just the fact they don't give you hardly any of it. So, Sonic, I would actually recommend you to bump off that extra B that you added to this burger. Just call it the normal BLT like it always has been because this is nothing more than the regular BLT except for a glorified name. This is something that I would not uh, get again. It is still new on the market though, so maybe they're still testing some things out, I guess, which <laughs> I guess we call for testing the amount of bacon to put on the sandwich. So if you have happened to try this before, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if your experience was as disappointing as mine. But that is going to wrap it up for this episode of The Food Game. And you know what's up. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to follow my social media. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Go press the subscribe button. Knock it out. As always, have yourself a nice day. Subscribe to join the club. And man, I hope the quality isn't going to be too bad here. Uh, this is the first time... I've ever shot a video with my GoPro at night, so I'm a little bit worried, but I think I have a decent lighting in the car. I guess it's a test. I'm going to turn this uh, LED light off. I don't think that's really going to make that big, big of a difference, but I guess we'll see. Uh, thank you guys once again, and peace out.